This week, Learning to Nature is coming at you from Texas. I wish I could say I came down here on a whim for the sake of adding more scope to this project of mine, but I came to visit family. Bummer. I know. In all seriousness, Texas blew me away with its beauty, and I hope to share some of that with you today. We start our journey here at Belton Lake. This is Natasha, and that is a great blue heron. came to the lake because today we're having a low of 97 degrees and a high of 105. However, it didn't feel that way. It was something to do with the humidity in the air. I, I don't know. I couldn't tell you. There she is, just watching us half-naked humans frolicking in the water for fun. This isn't fun for her. This is her old stomping ground for food. We're messing with her dinner, but she won't really do anything about it? You see, great blue herons are very patient birds, according to Google. So for now, she'll just watch us from afar and judge us. After all, we're the ones swimming in one big toilet. There she goes. I don't believe blue herons like being bothered or filmed for that matter. I mean, it was all my fault. I think I was getting a little too close for comfort for her. Now she's off to find another less crowded shore to feast in. Good luck, bird. After about an hour at the lake, I decided to set my sights to Miller Spring Park, about 10 minutes away. It didn't take me long to find something terrifying. A huge spider web. Probably the biggest we've found yet. Oh, was that not terrifying? Okay, uh, how about several huge spider webs? Yeah. Okay, how about we lighten up the mood? Let's just say it's time for plant names with Siri. Disclaimer, of course, I have no idea how accurate she is. Thank you for that, Siri. Great job, really. And kids, don't take any of what you saw to the bank, please. Now that we've seen the terrifying yet masterful display of webetry, we must look for the artist. Oh, Charlotte, where are you? Maybe this wasp knows of her whereabouts. There were actually way more wasps than I expected to see on this trip. Now class, here's the choose-your-own-adventure portion of the episode. Which way do I go? Left? Or right? I didn't film alternate scenarios, so if you picked right, you're right. Well, well, well. If it isn't the bane of my existence. Freaking Charlotte.
As I continued walking through the park, I came across a beautiful body of water where small fish dodged fishermen hooks on the daily. This was fun. Thank you, Texas.